for time. But uh, let's get this party started. Hope you guys have your barbell. Hope you guys have your dumbbells. And if you guys are checking this out, make sure you guys put something in the comments. Um, Ava's checking it out. I don't know if this is a, uh, it should all still be working, but if you are on this, go ahead and throw it in the comment section. There we go. Very good. Yeah. So when I'm, when I'm hitting shoulder press, what I'm thinking about, right, is I want to warm up the system beforehand. So I didn't come in here and get all crazy, like jump on the bike or anything like that. This is going to be my bodybuilding session for this morning. I'm then going to go ahead and transfer into, you know, jujitsu and other workouts later on today. But to start off with, I'm going to begin, grab our barbell. What I'm thinking about is I'm going to grip the shoulder part and I'm looking for full range of motion. So I'm thinking about three things in my, in my uh, shoulder press. Elbows are down but in front of the bar, I have a full grip on it. So oftentimes when people shoulder press, sometimes you'll see them place it in their fingertips. That's not where I get the most power from. So I actually roll this into this position. So if you're thinking about three different positions for the shoulder overhead, you have the jerk, you have the push press, and I have my shoulder press here. I simply pull my chin away and drive back up again. This is what we're gonna be doing today, taking the bar from the shoulders to directly up overhead. You have your first comment. Oh boy. Yeah, but Gabe, Oh, Gabe, what did he say? He said, making sure you get everything right when talking about flex. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe, for checking it out. All right, well, hey, I'm going to load up into the rack. I'm not going to be facing out. I'm actually going to be going into the rack. I'm going to start off just warming up. Go ahead and hit your set. I'm going to hit my set. we got a lot of reps today. Eight reps, a lot on shoulder press. So I'm just going to warm up here. Uh. Key for me, again, nice, I take a more narrow grip while shoulder pressing. Some people when they push press, they jerk, they go a little bit wider, especially when I jerk, I'm out here. But for shoulder pressing, me in this position. Now I'm gonna lift more than Gabe today. I'm be hitting my eight. <laughs> so when I walk up to the bar, as soon as my hands hit the bar, the reps start. That's what I like to think about it. So I walk up, I address the bar, shoulder width grip, boom, I hit my set of eight. If you want your thumb around in a suicide grip or not, that's kind of up to you. Today, I'm going to warm up not hitting all eight reps. And so there's some people, there's a school of thought where you hit your full set. For me, if I'm looking at eight reps, what I like to do is warm up in sets of like threes, fours, fives. And then when the actual workout, like set starts, which we're looking for moderate to moderate-ish heavy, I'll then go for eight. This way I don't burn out my shoulders. We're doing three to four sets today, starting with these eight shoulder presses. So what I need you to do is warm up your body. I'm gonna load up a little bit more and then get ready for my first working set. Hey, this is our first time doing this. It's gonna be, we're, we're gonna learn a lot, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hit my second set of four, right? This is probably not where I need to be at. I think I need to go to the, the full 45 for this first set. And you're going to know, right? So if you're out there, you're going to know your first set should feel like. It should be something challenging but not crazy. Eight reps is a lot. Hey, I think I'm going to hit my first work set right now. First work set of eight, and then I'm going to drop down to the floor and perform my Z presses, which we'll go over in just a second. Hopefully you guys are going to hit your first work set too. On this one, I'm actually going to use a suicide grip. I find that it gives me a little bit more drive out of my pressing position. Some people are against it, especially for bench press and shoulder press. I never used to do that. I always used to keep my thumb wrapped around. But today, especially on shoulder press, I'm going to be in this position. It helps the bar to be a little bit more on my um, palm, which gives me a little bit more driving position coming out of that uh, start position. Oh, 
面。12 Z presses. So, well, just real quick, on that first set of eight, what I'm thinking about also is breathing. So when I'm overhead, so I'm in this position here, I like to regain my breath, down, up, down, up. So the goal that I'm thinking about when I'm lifting is not breathing too much as I'm actually working through a range of motion. So if it's a press, I'm gonna try and maintain that belly raise position from here to here. I can exhale or inhale at static positions, either here or here. I try not to in the middle for my, that's what my preference is. Next thing we're gonna do. We got a comment. Oh boy, we got a comment. What's the comment? Okay, from Tony Ramirez. What's up, Tony? Says, yo, Jason, love all you do, bro. I'm from Modesto, California. When can I join you for a workout? Hey, you can join me for a men's club anytime you want, any Saturday. Send me an email and I'll add your men's club list. Okay, your next step, grab some dumbbells. We're hitting a set of 12 Z presses. Now, I don't do these that often, but basically we're gonna take them from this front rack position, drive up overhead. I have a set of 35s, I may need to step this up, but I'm gonna hit 12 Z presses. Now, again, we're trying to go moderate here. We're not trying to go crazy. We wanna start this day off with just a nice shoulder pump. That's my goal. I'll hit a crazy workout and some jiu-jitsu later on. So what I think about when doing lateral raises is, and towards the end we're gonna do one burnout set. We might use a little bit of body language, I like to call it. But for me, and uh, Gabe actually put this in my head, he's like, hey, if you could do one movement, he said he would do lateral raises. So he programs these a lot in flex, because his theory is the bigger you can make your upper body and your shoulders, the better your waist looks. So we're trying to get 12 to 16 here. I'm just gonna try and keep them pretty strict. I'm using 15s, nice and smooth. So, I think I'm going to stick with 35s. 
on the Z press. That feels pretty good for me. Sun's coming up here in California. Hope you guys are getting after it too. Z press, 12 reps. Second set of 12 is really tough on those Z presses because your shoulders are already burnt from the shoulder press, and now you're on that seated position, it just really isolates the upper body. You can't use any body language through your legs, which I was a little bit on there, if I'm being honest. Hey! Y'all sent any emoji? No, stop it. No, because they're probably hopefully doing this workout with us. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna send So now I'm hitting my lat raises. This is rep five. I'm looking for a set of 12 to 16 on these. Again, just trying to start the day off with a nice pump. Just kind of jump starting it. A lot of times you're gonna to want to use that body language, trying to resist that. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, you got two. Oh, okay. Mugs are really special. Oh, my God. Olsen, dude. Oh, I love Matt Olsen. Let's go. You got 19.99. Wait, I got paid? Yes. Yeah, I didn't even get paid. It says, great work, brother. Here's some money for coffee and breakfast for the kids. Let's go, Matt Olsen. Alright, thanks Phil, thanks Matt. You know what's funny? I've never gotten paid on YouTube in my life like that. So, I don't know how I'm going to collect that 19 bucks, but I'm going to look for it. Alright, set number three. Let's go, lat raises. Time to get after it. This can be your set of 15. And my god. Six. Let's go. You know, there's something to be said about positive self-talk, right? You're in the middle of these things, it's getting tough. Maybe you don't want to finish them out. You gotta remind yourself why you're training in the first place. Woo! You know, of course it's gonna be hard. If it wasn't hard, it wouldn't work. So I think reminding yourself that it's supposed to be hard, you're supposed to overcome, you're supposed to finish your sets, and uh, that's the key. So for me, you got one more set, okay? So do you. Set number four is coming up. You got eight here. We got 12 here on the Z press. We have 14 and 16 on those lat raises. Then we're gonna go from here and we're gonna drop down to two additional weights. So I'm gonna go from 15s to 12s, from 12s to like, I don't know, to 10s. I'm gonna burn out my lat raises and I'm done with this uh, strength session. You got another comment, but actually it's for me. It's from you? No, it's for me. Oh. It says, keep up the good work, Ava. <laughs> and then you, you got another oh. one from Wubby Hated. And it says, appreciate ya, Jay. Oh. Get after it. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, you know what's cool about this? And uh, I was talking to Gabe about this earlier. We're about to start set number four, right? So last set. And uh, he's like, hey, are we going to do this on a weekly basis? So I was like, I don't know. I, I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't care if 10 people show up or 10,000. This holds me accountable, right? This holds me accountable that I know it's going to be 730 here on the West Coast. And I'm already going to have a nice shoulder pump and ready to take on the day. So hopefully you guys have that same mentality. It doesn't matter how many people show up. For these men's clubs workout I host every week. You got two people show up, or most of the time we have like 50 or 60, but it just holds me accountable to make sure that I get after it. Set number four, you got eight, you got 12, you got a burnout set on lap raises. Let's get it. You got another comment. This is set number four, right? This has to be set number four. Yeah, go ahead. It says, from Thomas S. Major Jr. Yeah. I don't know if it's a question for me or for you, but yeah. I'm just gonna ask you. Sure. It says, Cleveland's positivity is great. Does he <laughs> ever get in a bad mood? Oh boy. So this guy, he wants to know if I ever get in a bad mood. Hey, do I ever get in a bad mood? Not, not too often, she said. But you know what helps me not get in a bad mood? Training hard. Here we go. Set number four. Let's get it. You know, especially when you're going through sets like that, right? This isn't some crazy Metcon or whatever. This is a strength session. It's supposed to be bodybuilding. Could I have been a little more strict? Am I using a little bit of body language? Yeah. That's something I gotta check myself on. Maybe go on a little bit lighter. But I wanted to keep the wheels on. Alright, time to drop down to 12 Z presses and finish up those lateral raises. Let's get it. I love this programming from Flex. So much different than what I've done in the past. Oh, there we go. The money is slowly disappearing. The 
The money disappeared? I don't know. It's turning from light orange to dark orange. You know, Ava, we've never gotten paid on YouTube before. It must be because you're here commenting. Uh, all right. Here we go. Last set. All right, you're going to grab your lat raises. You're going to hit somewhere between 14 and 16. From there, you're going to drop your lighter load. Hit a set there. And then you got one more. This is our burnout set. According to Gabe, if you use a little bit of body language at the end, it's all good. Let's have some fun with this. Let's go. You got two more comments. All right, we're almost done with our workout. This is set four. This is our burnout set. We'll answer as soon as we're done. Crushing it.